One of the most intense feelings that I've struggled with as a business owner is the feeling of isolation and feeling like this is all on me. There's nobody else that can help me with this. Like I have to figure it out. Do you see all your Wayfair stuff is shipping? Thank you, appreciate it. Ultimately at the end of the day, so many people's livelihoods are dependent on Be Still Getaways. At times it's been a challenging thing to sit with, but it's motivated me, it's given me fire, like keep going because you have to. My name is Jamie Stark Inlow, I'm 32 years old and I own a property management and design company called Be Still Getaways. We're on track to bring in $3 million for this year. Basically, we are a one-stop shop for someone with a short-term rental that's like, I would like to purchase real estate for a short-term rental, but I don't necessarily want to be in the trenches really at all because it's a whole production. Prior to starting Be Still Getaways, I worked in higher education. I was a student program director and I really enjoyed my work. After getting pregnant and having my son, nine to five definitely was not cohesive to our lives anymore. I was dropping my son off really early at daycare, picking him up late, and I was like, this is just not what I pictured for my life. So my husband and I, we ended up selling our home, moving back to Virginia. We purchased a mini farm in Scottsville, Virginia. Our neighbors had a sheep farm and they had a beautiful barn. And I can't remember why, but I had gone through the home above their barn. It was finished very beautifully. And I was like, this could be an Airbnb. So from there, I wrote a business plan to my neighbor. I asked him to give me $2,000 to furnish the barn. We drove all over the state of Virginia doing Facebook marketplace pickups. We furnished the barn, I listed it, and then I managed the unit from there. I dove into brand and creating a website and when I started the barn I was like this is it I want to do property management for short-term rentals Sales grew so much in the past few years. We certainly have different levels of luxury now that, you know, 2022 brought some really really upscale properties into our inventory which was exciting. So property management obviously comes with a lot of different expenses. Definitely the things that we spend the most money on are number one, wages. There are many times that I ran a payroll for staff before I ever paid a dime to myself and that's how it had to be. And I knew that from the beginning. I was like, I want to instill in my team a company where they feel valued, where they feel paid well, and where they don't want to leave. Supplies are also up there. I would probably put this as our second most costly line item. This would include all of the things that you need in your short-term rental, paper products, dishwasher pods, laundry detergent, makeup remover cloths, toothpaste, those little things that you need in a quality short-term rental. Last year, about this time, there was a warehouse opportunity here in the town that I live in. And so we signed a lease and that absolutely changed our lives. To have a point place where we could ship all supplies, so 120 doors worth of supplies, not to mention all the outfits that we do. We have about 4,000 square feet and right now it is completely full of furniture for about three different properties as well as all of our supplies for all of our units where our inventory coordinator is just able to go, pull what she needs for a unit and take it to whatever property is running low. I worked for almost three years working my higher education job as well as operating Be Still Getaways. So I started matching my salary. I was like, okay, if I'm comfortable for a year where I can pay my salary with Be Still Getaways, then I feel like I can quit my job.
My husband also recently quit his job. He was an educator and he is actually our full-time lawn maintenance man. So he literally 50 hours a week mows grass, which he really enjoys. He listens to podcasts and this line of work has been very good for him. And he fills in a lot of gaps that we didn't have before. There are still days where I'm like, oh my gosh, what if? Because it's scary. It's a scary leap, but I'm so glad that I did it. And it was such a relief to be able to just devote 100% of my time to this company and ultimately continue the scale. Afton is a pretty tiny mountain town known for vineyards and breweries and distilleries. I mean, I picture when this home was built, there was likely close to nothing around. And so with Afton Mountain Inn, we've created a very luxury resort experience in Afton, Virginia, which I think is really unique. We renovated all suites, we renovated seven bathrooms and added an additional one, and we were able to open within three months of doing all of these renovations. I think our contractor wanted to kill us when we picked 30 different paint colors throughout the entire inn, which is, I, I think that's the only property we'll ever do that on. So this is our snack bar slash coffee room. We call this the cafe. The property owner of Afton Mountain Inn actually suggested, what if we do complimentary ice cream for all of our guests? Have these little Ben and Jerry's tiny pints that we keep in there. And I was like, that is a beautiful suggestion. If you are willing to pay for that, let's absolutely do it. Be Still Getaways obviously experienced an immense amount of growth, even through the pandemic and just over the past couple of years. It was truly like wildfire. We grew, we, we went from two to 10 to 20 to 40 to 60, and that happened so fast. When we expanded into motels, that was when our team structure really was tested. Now, 2023 has had so many intense challenges. Our original team structure is, it's not working. Like we kind of need to tear it all down and start over. That is certainly the hardest part of scaling is how do you keep your quality? How do you keep your team from being burnt out? How do you hire appropriately and make sure everyone's taken care of as you experience this immense scale? So that has been, I think the thing I'm the most proud of in 2023. It definitely is my lowest point in business and feeling like I don't know how to figure this out. I don't know how we're gonna do this. And just feeling my staff having so much weight on their shoulders, it was very challenging. And now sitting here in July, to see us coming out on the other side is a relief. I think my best advice for anyone wanting to get into real estate and property management is that it requires a dive in and a commitment and being like, this is what I'm gonna do. Obviously one of my number one goals is bringing on a Be Still Getaways owned commercial property. And so that's exciting. That's definitely one end goal. My dream like you know, pie in the sky vision would be, I would love to write a book, The Secrets of Short-Term Rentals, not just a book about, you know, helping other hosts in this industry, because I do really enjoy the education side of hosting, but also just like all the fun tea and drama that unfolds in this industry. There's so many fun things and like hilarious stories that happen seriously every single day that you could totally do a reality TV show or a book on it. 